The Alfie Wattam Podcast. Something else in, in the VR world is VR has been under a lot of um, complaints because there's no legs. It's all like you yeah. know the, the head and the and the torso. So um, we we finally got a solution to this with, with the next clip, um, which is essentially full body VR tracking. So it's these um, little um, sensors that you can uh, stick onto different parts of your your body. Um, there were ways to do this, which were very expensive. This is. Um, kind of making it available for everybody and then boom you can turn into your character this is a super cheesy commercial <laughs> uh, i don't think i've ever danced like that <laughs> but you can you can you can now have the movement in vr that you'd have in in the real world which yeah. a lot of people are saying is is kind of a huge leap for, for virtual reality yeah. given the complaints that that you know mark had that, that that meta had because of that sort of thing w- when you see where that clip and where vr could be heading what what's your take on that well so <clears throat> certainly all the big companies are, are betting that VR is, is the future, right? I, I, I'm on the, I don't doubt it will be. Mm. I, 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 am, I think we haven't had the killer app no, or, def- or the not. killer. What is the thing that brings it into the future? When it replaces your phone, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because at, at the moment, it's it's a clunky box that you stick on your right. head with, with an Oculus. I mean, Apple was going to release theirs and hopefully and make an announcement in a couple of months. When Apple do something, they do it usually pretty well. Yeah. Um, but, I'm but, waiting for that. Yeah, but w- when you have or like this, like a pair of glasses, mm-hmm. you know, or something a little bit chunkier, when you don't need your phone, that's the killer app, in, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I think, um, so I've, to be fair, I've not, I haven't played around with the latest version of what... Um, Oculus have done. I think uh, I my friend at university had an Oculus Rift, which yeah. we played the early uh, ones. Sh- yeah, a shitloads of. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're great fun. Okay, but like video games, to be honest, I didn't like do any kind of like metaverse stuff on it. We played like you know, like I can't remember the, the names of the titles actually. We played a lot of video games, and I really liked it. I was super motion sick when I first started using it, though. Me too. It, yeah, yeah, really yeah. bad. Yeah, it took, and I was like, oh shit, maybe I can't yeah. use this, and I was yeah. gutted. Mm. Um, two computer science students not being able to use one of them not being able to use <laughs> VR would be devastating. But I got over it. Um, it's got to push through. The more you do it, the less you get. <laughs> yeah, sounds weird, but uh, exactly. Um, but for sure, like all those games, they yeah. they um, what I noticed was that they have to get around the movement aspect, and the yeah. way they did it was, you know, by kind of like th- that was part of the controls of the of the joysticks, right? If you can map mm. like beyond the hands, mm. that surely opens up a whole new level of immersion that you didn't have before which is it, which is also part of the issue with vr is that visually it is very immersive and you like you kind of come out of it and you're like whoa okay yeah. i've been in the matrix um but it's not it's not perfect right like I, 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 for sure. me the true yeah. metaverse like this yeah. kind of concept that we would like you know get home from work plug in at 7 p.m and you know sit on a beach in hawaii um yeah, yeah. And, and really feel like you're there that's you have to solve some of those immersion challenges, which surely comes from like limb control. Yeah. Do you think we'll we'll get to that point where the graphics keep getting better and better and better, and virtual reality is indistinguishable from 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 real life? Do Do you think we'll get to that point? Yes, I think um, yes, definitely. So on on like graphics technology, yeah. um, for sure. Like the, the frankly the the. Uh, the companies that make like consumer grade graphics technology, yeah. they kind of limit it for, um, they limit where they're at yeah. in terms of the products they release to market. So it's it's further along theoretically yeah. than where you know consumer wise you can actually get stuff. Um, the other thing with kind of graphics and thinking, you know, making things immersive is is typically around like animation quality. So mm-hmm. you'll see like you know again let's let's take things we we talk about graphics video games, like the reason that AAA video games often look the best graphically mm. is not so much about the kind of fidelity is it's all it's also about how talented those animators are at making facial facial expressions look good they use super high mocap mm. um so uh if you if you are not animating those things and they are genuine representations of of human behavior sure then yeah i can see that being immersive what about the, we talked about the the downsides of a lot of this cutting edge technology. A lot of people say VR makes kids socially awkward, super mm-hmm. introverted. Um, I've got, you know, younger cousins and sure. that, that sort of thing. And yeah. they, uh, even though we're not that far apart age wise, sure. because kids are growing up in VR, yeah. maybe it's not giving them the personality and the people skills and the communication that, that they should have, in my opinion. Do you think there's an argument to be made there? Yeah. So I think... Um, 
I I do think there's an argument to be made there. I think, like, generally speaking, uh, an always digital presence is not the healthiest way to be. I think I think you need to mix those things. But equally, I don't subscribe to the idea that digital is bad. Like, you mm. can foster genuine friendship, team bonding mm. online. You only have to look at, like, any community of like kind of online game again sure. yeah. i feel like i talk a lot about video games but but you know um to to realize that like you, you can have a lot of camaraderie and yeah. like all yeah. the kind of like you know face-to-face interactions can, can happen online with that said like we are um animals and we we are um group animals and i think you can't fully replace you know being in the same room yeah. physically. And, and if anything, I would say that like COVID yeah. work from home all of the time emphasized that fact and actually almost made me more convinced that yes, that VR, um, metaverse, like it has a place and it mm-hmm. will revolutionize a lot of things. Like, if, you know, if you could do meetings fully, you know, um, immersive, that will make those hybrid meetings so much better. Yes, <laughs> But yes. Um, equally, it's nice to just in a room with people and, and see them yeah. face to face I, I don't see us replacing that anytime soon no it's it's probably more balance right I, I started doing the podcast um on on webcam and when I moved into a studio yeah it's just so much better the conversations right. are more natural there's no you're on mute sort of situations <laughs> you know all of that all of that jazz um but yeah I, I think you're right I think it probably will get to a point where it gets just as good as real life graphics in terms of motion in terms of everything else but it won't be as good as real life because it's not real life. And and no. those, it's hard to connect with somebody emotionally looking at a digital avatar. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. Especially if they're like an anime character, right? That's where, per- personally for me, yeah, 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 I mean, personally for me, that's like, but just because I'm not into that kind of thing, like it, it doesn't, that doesn't make me want to engage with it. Like sure. I would yeah. be much more interested in a more realistic yeah. um impression of of somebody like the kind of the whole like vr chat type thing where people are advertised i get like there's an an anonymity uh, level which is which is cool but like a a, a real person for me like proper representation of a real human would be um, a big next step like i know i saw facebook's um i can't remember what their product's called horizon worlds yes yeah, yeah. where yeah. i think and zuckerberg himself had that avatar i'm sorry it just looked, it looked in, really, in paris with the really bad. Oh it God. looked really bad we show that um p- picture <laughs> on the screen in, in editing it's um it's not great but the the apple um this is just rumors but the apple um mixed reality headset is rumored to map your face and show a very realistic yeah. version of of, yeah. of you, so that very much is definitely a big step forward if if that happens. Uh, yeah, like I said before, right? Like uh, like fidelity. Uh, there's a, there's much about fidelity and like realizing the world as yeah. there is in the the quality, uh, you know, of the kind of the animation, the representation of true human emotion and true human interaction. Yeah, mapping your face. Yeah, um, accurately. Yeah, uh, great next step I, for sure would increase the emotion. Hey, thanks for watching this YouTube video. If you want to see more like this, please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.